Mark Ferry. This one is a uh, blue sky today. And then 250, 300 miles all the way to Edinburgh. A wee bit of the minch. This is what the Paris in the background can be did. Hey guys, we're on the Isle of Sky now. We're uh, giving a lowdown of what the plan is. About 250 miles on the bike. We could out of there, can I go wrong? 250 miles from North of Sky to the capital Edinburgh. Today we're going to go through the sky, camp out somewhere, get some fish and uh, take about five days I think. We've got a rough plan, nothing set in stone, we'll just go with the flow as always. So yeah this is the Uig on the north of Sky, where you get the ferry to the Outer Hebrides, which is where I just came from. So, Fauci. Hi, the sky! Shopria! It's a beautiful day! This is beautiful! Oh yeah! Can I beat it? No tourists anywhere! Happy days! Woo! -hoo. So, guys, so we've been cycling for about an hour and we are now on our way to the capital of Sky, Portree. Sorry for the wind. Still not got that mic I want. So yeah, Portree, beautiful wee village town. I will uh, stop there for a wee spot of lunch and I'll give you a shout, all right? Gorgeous day, I can't emphasize it enough how lucky I feel. That's me guys, I'm leaving Portree now. This is Portree, a famous little town in the central of uh, the sky, it's very famous. It's uh, covered in B&Bs and gift shops if you like that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, my blog's not about that. I'm sure you can find a million, uh, probably a million videos online. Um, try to tell you how amazing uh, the sky is. And don't get me wrong, it is. It's gorgeous, man. It's really gorgeous. set up guys I'm gonna give the fishing a wee rest for tonight like I said I'm uh, 
Just gonna get a wee fire going. I'm gonna get some more stuff like this and more dead heather and stuff. See, there's loads of dead heather. Don't kill this though, because this could be useful in the summer. We just need it to uh, blossom, obviously. So I, and I've also got some peat. I'll show you what the peat is in just a minute. So, bear with me. Cheerio. We're not blessed like a lot of people, as in, we don't have um, so much trees in a lot of places. Weather conditions and people uh, burning it over years and years and building with it, etc. We're very much a, a stone culture, to be fair. But what I have here is peat. Okay. Peat is like mud, earth. Looks like it, right? Literally, you cut it out the ground, you leave it for a day or two to dry. And on a lot of the islands, you'll find um, different places where people have cut the peat. And they've cut it and pulled blocks out just like this. And they've left it aside. I'm lucky I found one of these to the side. I can go grab more if I need some. It's me, guys. All ready to go. Good morning done, breakfast, coffee, all sorted out. Had some oats and a fire. Nice and clean campsite and there's one thing left to do. One of many waterfalls guys. First bunny spot on today's trip. So We've got about 40 miles ahead of us. We're going to the beautiful Glen Shield. I hope you enjoy the trip. See you later. Anyone like Harry Goose? We got some gems here, like. We calf hairy coos and look at the view. Oh, lucky boys, eh? Just chilling. Grass is so good they don't even fucking care. Oof, hairy coo! Still on sky, guys. Let's climb up a, f a hell of a hill. Oi. Oh, yeah. a bonny view, eh? Alright guys, so, uh, we threw the cooling mountains on the bike, I've got to say, it's probably one of the hardest cycles I've ever done, especially with the big bag. Um, so, yeah, Broadford is just beyond that forest there, the end of this stunning day, eh? absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Enjoy my wee coffee break. I'm back on the bike. Alright. Right guys. We made it to Kyle Lockhouse. So here is the Sky Bridge. The only island in Scotland where I've with a bridge, funnily enough. Great seafood here as well if you want a wee stop by. It's a bonny spot. It's hard to make out guys. It's the famous Eel Donnan Castle. Gorgeous day I must say. Morning guys, so today I'm, uh, I woke up in Rathigan on Loch Duke, as you can see here, and my plan is to go about 40 miles, 50 miles maybe, I'm not sure, uh, all the way up Glen Shield, and then uh, through Invergari, and then down the Great Glen, I think I'll take a little dirt road on the on the west side of the Great Glen. 
uh, somewhere I've never been. I'm quite excited about it, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. My 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 knees still give me a wee bit a wee bit of jiff, but um, thankfully it's uphill all the way. So and I'm in no rush. So if the knees struggling, I'll jump off the bike and push for a bit. So yeah, Madi Ba from Loch Wish me luck. Well, goats are everywhere today, guys. Enjoying the sunshine they are. Some of the wild goats, guys, all over Glen Shield. Now that's a Highland gangster, I'll tell you that much. These guys survive for anything, these would. See some baby. Hey, goodies! Gorgeous, eh? Look at that beard. My God. Show me up, eh, my wee goatee. Still in Glenshield, guys. It's the South Ridge. Up this way here, it's the South Ridge. And this is the Five Sisters, but we're just standing behind what I think is called Ben Father. You know, you realise just how how tiny you are when you stand somewhere like this. You really do. Hope you enjoy the journey. Guys, it's me at the top of the Loch Clooney now. Stop for a wee spot of lunch. Beautiful weather. Can't beat it. So I'm going to Invergarry. I'll stop in Invergarry, show you around there. And then the plan is to go um to the Great Glen Way and visit the famous Loch Lochy. Cheerio! Say bye to Loch Clooney, guys. Till the next time. Say, so guys, where I come off this road, heading towards Fort William and Invergarry. Just thought I'd show you this wee sign because it'll show you the Gaelic. First Gaelic lesson, if you want. You'll see where it says Inver means mouth of a river. You see what it says, the B-H. Well, in English, that's a V sound. So there you go. Woo! Conquered the Glen. Conquered the Glen. Still on the way to Invergarry, guys. To the top of the incline. Boy, it's hard work. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna show you this. This is a cairn. Really fancy cairn. Top of all the hills in Monroe's in Scotland, there are cairns. It's Willie McRae. Did you see these? Yes. means an independent Scotland. Let's commemorate. Willie McRae died here 
1985, he was a supporter of our independence. He died at the hand of the British state. R.I.P. Scotland will be free. I'm sure of that much. Right here. I don't know if you can see because they're covered in snow, but that there's the saddle and the fork and ridge. Beautiful. Woo! Sorsha! Oi! Oh, it's so peaceful. See what's round the corner. my tent tonight next to the wee river we've got a nice wee stew going on at the moment uh, venison from the Hebrides that I skinned and cut myself some tatties basically wee stew and as a starter a nice wee smoked sausage oh, ho, ho, ho. happy days but the reason I picked this spot is mainly because it has a natural fridge. So, these have been in here for about an hour. Oh, and they're nice and cold. So guys, a wee Highland stew. Got the fire. Some bigger stuff in the fire so it can kick off again. And I made myself a couple of wee chopsticks, shout out to the Asians and that, like, can he go wrong? Can he go wrong at all? Highland stew, venison and tatty, let's see, let's check a bit of venison. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Any Scottish people who don't eat venison, you need to change that, guys. You need to change that. Ushkabaz, whiskey and garlic, translated into water of life. Ushkaba. Top of Glencoe, home to the last clan of Scotland. Oh, yes. I guess it's done. You think it's done, aren't you? Damn, you're stunning, eh? Aren't you just gorgeous? Can't even tell.